Inside the Circle. Sean, do you have any idea what episode this is? I couldn't tell you what season it is. Episode, no, I'm going to guess and just take, I'm going to, uh, eight. No, it's season 11. Season 11. Are you sure? It is season 11. I feel like we've had, it's like Groundhog Day. We've had season 11 like five times. No, but this is episode 6.1. Point one! And that's going to come into play today. Got some big, big stuff going on today. But before we get too far along, I don't know if you can see Sean. He's just a floating head here. I don't know what's going on here because he's wearing a green shirt. So it's going to be interesting. I'm wearing the Pink Panthers. If you're out there and you're in Pickerington North area, they got a little girls wrestling club going on. And I'll tell you what, John Copas has a little girl going on there. Um, I love the idea of the Pink Panthers. So you gotta be, you gotta be old like us to get it though. Yes, that's true. Bottom, bottom. Remember that? Bottom, 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 bottom. I've got a bimp. That was great, Sean. Well, you're Pink sporting Panthers. a Pink Panther shirt. I'm yes. sporting a Dublin Jerome shirt. Yes. I was up at the All North this weekend. Coach White was nice enough to hook me up. So um, he didn't give you two. <laughs> Maybe yeah. he did. Maybe he but did. But I'm wearing Ooh. one. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're being kind of odd to wear two shirts, right? That's right, right. Sean, let's give the people what they want. So what we got here, we got the All North Tournament. We got the Selection Sunday Challenge. Yes. We got the Season Ending Awards we're going to give out as well. Yes. But we're going to start where I was at this weekend, the All North Tournament up at Dublin Jerome. Just a great tournament. You know what I love about that tournament? Uh, the All North that is close to your house? No, that's not my number one thing about the tournament. Uh, bracket style. Bracket style tournament. Yes. Come on, we're bring them back. We're two weeks out from the section. I want no pull. No, my kid needs to know how the uh, match is going to get tougher. Yes. as the day gets longer. That's right. So Ooh. we're up there. A great day. Everyone ran a great tournament up there. The winner of that was the Golden Bears of Upper Arlington, the winning Golden with Bears. 180 and a half points. Second goes to Marysville with yes. 177 ish. Okay. Third is Grove City. Okay. And fourth is Gehanna yes. with 123 points. But let's talk about some of those champions. Upper. Let's Can you talk guess any? Up Park had three. Give me some. Strickland Meyer. Strickland Meyer, almost there. I don't have the third. Sidlick at 106. Oh, hey, nice. Do you think the 20 and 26 work out together? Yeah, they probably you do. You think that's why they're champions? Yes, yeah, that's okay, right. Okay. Drillers. Marysville also had two champions. They kind of had some guys out there. They said they kind of got pointed out there yeah, from their busy yeah, schedule. Yeah. But they did have two champions. Hart wins it at 144. Yep. And Powers wins it at I could have gotten those two. Why didn't you ask me those two? Mm. Thanks a lot, Sean. I don't think you would have. I don't think you would have. Oh, I would have. I would have. Think so? Yep. All right, okay. Grove City. They have two champions. Give me one. Uh, 132 Waller. Waller, okay. Yes. Okay. Halfway home, halfway home. Mr. Carter. Oh, Carter. Mr. Too. Carter. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, have the old no, the, the kids <laughs> on fifth have no idea about it. You know, I tell people, it's funny you say that, Mark, yeah. I tell people all the time when we get all that, that inbox uh, yes, hate mail. Yes. I'm like, there are so many jokes on our show. You just don't get them all. That was <laughs> because a, you're too young. You are just for hey, whatever reason. we get that reason. mail, and you know what? I respond that. all the time to that mail. Dear Epstein's mother. This is the deal. <laughs> I thought it was it was Sean. It was Sean. <laughs> it was That's Sean. true too. Blame Sean. That's was Sean. true. But we also had some other schools. I had some champions there. Okay. Our, boy, our boy Blackenhorn went to that oh. one thirteen. We had Ellison Bradley. Our boys yeah. Bradley. Boy. They made an, they made an appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had them coming to the All North because you would get twenty points for that. And your scavenger hunt. So yes. they have a champion at one thirty eight. The sales had two champions. You got to know this. You're tired of those guys. Give me some champions. Yes, we got Max Shulaw for sure. He wasn't there. Yeah, he though. wasn't they, there they though. A small so if, group. if he was group. there, it would have been him. I would say Lopez probably. Lopez and Barford, Barford. at one sixty five. So again, they had some kids out well with injuries and points and so forth like that. That's we cool. also had our boy Smalley oh, from Reynoldsburg yes. was there. And last but not least, Garen closes out the George. tournament from Old Danger Honor with yes. a big win over District Placer Snyder oh, from Sanders, Sanders, Sanders. Bradley. Uh, yes. So, great <laughs> day of wrestling all the way around. The hospitality room was fabulous. Any coach tells you when they talk about tournaments, the first thing they talk about is the hospitality room. 100%. We had some great women there doing great things, taking care of everybody. We had Lori Kinsler there. Okay. We had Stephanie Van Meter. Nice. We had Karen... Cho? Yes, we're and thinking we, it's Cho. We, I think it is yeah. Cho. And then we had Tessa and Sophia Martinez as Aww. well, taking care of Aww. everything. I think she's a Pink Panther. 
She is a pig. Yes, yeah, Sophia does, does a great job. So thank you, ladies, for everything you did. We are appreciative of that. Hey, also, wait, stand up right there. The first thing people talk about is the hospitality room. Do you know the second thing people talk about? Yeah, I do. Media. <laughs> <laughs> and the media guys there. No, I would say no. Oh, really? Was the tournament a run efficiently? That is yes. what I think people talk about. I agree with you. This there year, you go. Bo Ramsey was the new tournament director, did a fabulous job. I mean, I don't know what this guy does from Monday <laughs> to Friday, but on Saturdays, that boy can run some tournaments. Man. I heard that. He, I mean, I think this is the third or fourth tournament he's ran. Yes, like he that's hides correct. the sales. I mean... I think there's another one. He does a middle school too. So he, yeah, he did a great no, job. Bo, if you're watching this, I think you do watch our shows. I appreciate you did a great job. And all the feedback I got from a lot of coaches there was yes. that you have done a great job not hosting this tournament, but the, all the other ones you did as well. So thanks, man, for everybody in wrestling. You know what he cares about? Starting on time. Four or, minutes early. Or early, Four if possible. Early. Yep. And keeping wrestling moving. He loves that. But there's a third thing that he likes. Making sure that table workers are taken care of. If you ever work one of his tournaments, you will be taken care of. I guarantee it. Make sure that it happens. Those are the three things. That's awesome. Yep. Start early. Keep mat. Keep the mats going, and then take care of my table workers. Awesome. Yep. Where does media fit in? You Man, never I think we're way media. down. Yeah, we're way down. Mentioned media. More. I know. I know. Media. Way down on the totem pole. I tell you. Even with our new photographer position uh, being <laughs> filled, like they don't care. They don't care. But you know why? Because we don't have the research guy yet. Ah, oh, but when so the research close. guy, He's yes, close. yes, yeah, you're getting close. Yeah, yeah. You're almost we there. see you out you're there. Almost about guy. to get a badge. That's right. <laughs> um, Sean. Well, that wraps up that the Bender duels yes, also yes, happened Bender, this week. Yes, Bender yes. duels happened up at River Valley. Those results are online for anyone interested in that. I know Watkins was up there as yes. well for people who may be in their section. I want to see. Hey, want to get some last ooh, second ooh, dirt ooh, on yes. these guys? They were up there as well, but. Let's talk about the year in. We got year in uh, awards we give out every year. We give out a coach of the year award and we have given out a wrestler of the year award, I believe, for the last five or six years. It is mind blowing to me after doing this 11 years. It took us four years or five years to do a coach or wrestler of the year. I don't yeah. know why that didn't well, click earlier. Yes, that's true. I don't know why either. And I think the catalyst for the coach of the year was the passing of John Brown. Okay. You, we were, I remember this. Yeah. I remember this. Uh, Rob Gore had us. Um, talking on uh, Skype or whatever, and he recorded it, and you did not tell me about that, but you dropped it on air. And I was like, that is awesome. Of all, I mean, of all the coaches that this award could be named after, John Brown is a phenomenal choice. He did so, a lot in the off season. Yeah, but you know the thing is, this is what we say this all the time. His, during the match, his adversarial coaches, the guys across the mat, mm -hmm. were his staunchest enemies but once the whistle stopped blowing they were his best friend like hey how can i help you what what is there something i want your kids to come with me to aau junior olympics right, be a part right, of this right but, i mean and and honestly i think uh coach reeman is from delaware has really picked up the torch oh, doing definitely, that kind of thing. Definitely. so there you go so uh coach of the year um i'm gonna start this up to you okay you're more in line okay. with these these award winners that I am, I guess. I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm yeah. Clearly the outlander. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this year's Coach of the Year. We, John Brown, Coach of the Year. John Brown, Coach of the Year. We obviously have three divisions to choose from. And uh, 95 coaches, basically. Yeah, right there. Three, Give or yeah. take, depending on the counts and stuff gotcha, like that. Gotcha, gotcha. This year's Coach John Brown, Coach of the Year award goes to, thank you, Colin Palmer from DeSales. Yeah. And, and he'll be the first to tell you that any individual award, coaching award, really is a reflection of the staff. And I guess in this way it is, but since he's the head coach, he's the one who receives the spotlight. So today we're giving to Colin Palmer and the John Brown Wrestler uh, Coach of the Year Award. Uh, he's done a great job. And I was just... Okay, go ahead. I, I agree with that, Mark. We talked about that a little bit before I started filming today. He's resurrected really, a he, he really resurrected a program that kind of was kind of down there for a minute, and he's really built up Central Ohio wrestling. I mean, a lot of kids across all three divisions from a lot yes. farther than Columbus come to his camps and his stuff like that. And he's yeah. really a lot. I mean, when we see people wrestle on the mat, we're like, oh, there's that Palmer half. Or there's just the way he wrestles yes. on the mat. He really does a great job elevating wrestling in this district. Yeah. So thank you for everything you do. So. Part of that thank you uh, goes back last year. I, so I spent at least one day a week in there. My son went to him for uh, three or four like sessions. So a session that's three months, maybe four months over the summer. And so my son would go to him. And I told my son when he got his driver's license, you'll go one day by yourself because you're steering the ship. But I'll go the second time of the week and we'll do it. Kids from all over Miami East were there. 
Grove City. Miami, we're Florida. <laughs> Not in Cena, Miami, Florida. <laughs> However, there were a lot of kids. Uh, Hilliard Davidson, they come across uh, over to the sales. So he really does have a great job, and he cares about each one of them. There's no way he doesn't know your kid's name if you're in there. Uh, Jonathan Alder's in there. I mean, just a number of kids. Reedy. Right. All these awesome. kids. So, so anyway, congratulations yes. on the award. You really deserve this this year. Also, we have Wrestler of the Year Award, Mark. You're going to unveil as well. Yes. I think this one's kind of a no-brainer, right? I don't even know if we can compare someone to the season he's having. And he really has demonstrated to be the best wrestler in Columbus across all three divisions yeah. and all 14 weights of this. I mean, there may be a case to be made, but I mean, honestly. I don't know. He's got a lot of hardware there, there. there. There is a lot of hardware. And this year's Wrestler of the Year, interestingly enough, also coming from the sales, is Max Shulaw, Iron Man champ, Brexville champ, Kevin Cleveland champ, Licking Heights Invit and that really was the tipper. That Licking was Heights there. Invitational champ, along with the Ron Thomas Senior uh, uh, champ, tournament champion. Jonathan well. Otter. Jonathan Otter, yes. So he had all those, and we are wanting nothing more than to celebrate on Sunday night, well, though it should be Saturday night, inside the circle shirt for you, my good man. Max, we're getting it for you, bud. I'm sure you'll give it to him next time you see him. Yeah, no problem. All yours. There you go. That helps uh, a little bit. That does help. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this show really got good. I don't have to see these guys. Um, Stop me that one. That's yeah. uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, so those are your John Brown Coach of the Year, Wrestler of the Year. Anything else? No, I think as uh, as the season wrapped up, you know, I say the same work. The order we get, the faster it goes. I feel yes. like we just filmed our first show, and I feel like this season really just flew by. And we were very busy, although apparently you don't go to many tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I'm too busy selling that 63 Ford Chevy out there. Ford Chevy, I don't know what that is. But, but uh, we do have a couple more episodes coming up for you guys to yes, follow. We're going to tuned. break down Division 1, Division 2, and Division 3. Sectional selection. Really just give you a snapshot of what to look for if you're going to be at those sectionals. Yes. Maybe you don't have a kid in any particular section, but you want to watch wrestling in a couple weeks at a sectional. Maybe this will lean you in a direction uh, close to where you live. At. And uh, looking at a Mark, when we first looked at I don't think there's any teams that are truly upset of where they're at. I agree with that. When I looked at it, I, don't, I just think everyone's pretty much pretty happy where they got to go. Maybe yeah. a couple adjustments here and there, but I think for the most part, this is probably the most even the sectionals have been across all three divisions we've had in a long time, but it is the first time we've had multiple divisions in Division 2 and Division 3 yes. for a long time. I mean, way back 20 years ago we did, but... um. We'll see. I like it. That's it. Is that all you got? That's what I and got. And now you are inside the circle. 